Hi, this is Shady. Today we're going to be looking at the U.S. Marines teaching the Mongolian Special Forces some pressure point technique. Now, before I start this video, I know the stigma around pressure points. However, I do feel the need to say that there is some benefits to them and we will see in which context exactly. Now, I know a lot of people say this martial art or ninjutsu or whatever it may be, they teach these points. So this martial art cannot work on me, etc. Of course, when people have a very controlling position, it's going to be hard to force your way out of it due to pressure points. However, after you've mastered your grappling, your striking, your weapons, as special forces or police, adding pressure points is always good. So now let's first talk about and this one I've talked about before. It's a thumb in the little uh, hollow part uh, between the neck and the ear. And it is a curved part where you can actually really exert a lot of pressure. And from there, you can control them. Very similar concept to the wrist locks when it comes to arresting people. Now, this picture here, of course, nothing is new. And we see here this picture from 1888. I believe it is from a Kempo book. Excuse me, I forgot the name, but it shows here the arresting techniques from the ropes uh, method. So in order to get them to get up, as you can see here, it is. I remember this book I shared a few years back. Also, you have that pressure point underneath or behind the earlobe where you can get them to get up and have a complete control. Again, not a complete martial art you need to do the whole work first of taking them down, pinning them, tying the rope, and then applying these things to get them to comply. It is not a complete martial art or an antidote to a martial art. The second one here, it's it's like a like a like a like plucking the jaw out, almost or ripping it uh, apart. So you pull apart and you pull towards you, and that will get them to, of course, stand up. And you can take them from point A to point B uh, here. They exercise these strikes to the neck or the, the extremities of the trapezius muscle, which I don't know why it's, it's the point to knock them out. I'm not entirely sure. But from there, they continue to do the jaw uh, clinching technique. So I'm not sure what's the point behind this, but... Uh, if someone has any idea, please let me know down below. So, like I said, pressure points have their place. But after you've sparred countless rounds, after you have a very decent and solid foundation in grappling, striking, uh, scenario training, uh, drilling, uh, weapons, all of that stuff, at the very end, in order to make them comply just a little bit more then you add your pressure points not as a complete martial art where you touch one point and they just collapse so no they do have a place they they are just marketed by the wrong people so if you have anything to add please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening